Good evening, or something. It is 7.57 p.m., and I have a message for the people. Now, this was originally going to be about EA, but you know what? Just modern gaming in general. Modern gaming? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm sitting here, right? Oh, my gosh. I'm sitting here, all right? I'm in the PlayStation store just talking to my friends. Literally one minute ago, just sitting there. You know what I see? Madden NFL 24, the standard edition, is $70! And you might be thinking, oh, well, that's the gaming standard nowadays, right? No, it's normal, right? <gasps> Fucking... Okay, EA cannot charge 70 fucking bucks for Madden. They can't. I looked at the game's screenshots, and you want to know why they say they can charge an extra, an extra $10 for games? For one, because of inflation, and two, because of how hard it is to make games, they say. So they increase the price. All of these giant fucking companies have gotten together and say, let's just increase the price of modern games, of modern AAA games. Let's just up the price because we are dickheads and our profit shares aren't already through the fucking roof and too good regardless. I looked at the screenshots for Madden NFL 24. It looks the same as Madden 19. They don't change the fucking graphics. It looks the fucking same. It looks the fucking same. I'm willing to bet the gameplay's the fucking same. The story's the same. Baseless, stupid-ass bullshit that it's been for the last fucking forever. Because Madden is a shit IP. And EA should not have the exclusive rights to it. Because they make shit cash grabs. And it's never gonna change because people fucking buy it anyway. Holy shit. They pump out the same bullshit every fucking year, and now they expect you to pay an extra ten fucking dollars. This is unacceptable. Like, I'm not even laughing angry. I'm fucking mad. This is unacceptable behavior from anyone. Everyone. Unacceptable. You know what? The only game I can say that can charge an extra ten dollars, I'm gonna say, is Rockstar Games. Or... Bethesda games, because those guys, they sit there and pump, okay, and, yeah, COD games, eh, not, kind of, but not really, not really, um, Bethesda, okay, Bethesda, and Rockstar, those are the AAA companies I can say are allowed to charge 10 extra dollars, I would, that's fine by me. Fine by me. For Red Dead 3, I would pay $70. For the standard edition, I'd pay 70 bucks. I would. For GTA 6, I will probably pay $70 for it because GTA 6 looks amazing. Okay? And Rockstar, they've been hitting recently. You know, they've been fucking up with GTA Online. All right? GTA Online is absolute garbage. And they took, they took it and churned the fuck out of it for money. All right? Congratulations, Rockstar. Great fucking job. All right, you should have left GTA Online to die five fucking years ago and actually worked on RDO. All right, and then you would actually have had a booming player. But dude, do you know how many people play Red Dead Redemption Online and they still haven't updated it in three fucking years? At least that's what it feels like. I don't know if it's been three years. It might be like two years. I'm gonna check right now. I have it. <sighs> Let's look. Let's take a look. I'm taking a look right now. Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's look. When's the last time we had a major update? Okay, we're going to... Um, events? No. Okay, I can't, I can't really look at it from the PlayStation menu. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google this real quick. When is the last time RDO had... A major update. July 2021. It's been two years since RDOs had a major update. And what was it?
They withdrew development resources to focus on the next GTA game. All right, valid. But you know what you need to do? Take the entirety of GTA Online's team, all of them, because GTA Online is a melt piece of shit. GTA Online is actually fucking shit. You know why? I don't have one to bet. All right, Rockstar's been pretty, pretty good. That's because of the developers. I'm willing to bet they took all the resources from Red Dead Redemption 2 because you can make too much progress in the game without paying money. You can make too much. Because I'll be honest, in Red Dead Redemption 2, it, it's not easy to get money. It's not easy to get money, but you, you with a little bit of a grind, all right, it's got to grind. If you grind it, you're going to make some money. All right, and you're going to level up. That's what games should be like. Good video, fuck, good fucking video games, right? But with GTA Online, it's specifically curated, so you got to pay millions of dollars to do everything in that game. All right, that's why I'm willing to bet they pull all the resources from Red Dead Online. They're like, hmm, we made too much of a good fucking game, so I think we should pull all the online resources and just put them back into the into the fucking meat grinder that is GTA Online. God, it's a shit show. Anyway, Bethesda games for Fallout 5 that's fully complete. All right. Like not, I don't know. Fucking, what do I mean? What do I mean by not fully complete? I mean like, look at Paradox. All right, Paradox made Crusader Kings three. They made uh, Stellaris. All right, uh, they made EU. They made Hoi four. Look at look at Paradox. Okay, Paradox makes incomplete games. Paradox releases features that could have been added forever ago in and locks them behind DLC. Paradox is a scummy fucking company when it comes to that shit. All right. Now, what I mean by f complete is what I mean with Fallout. They released just a fully complete game, not with terrible bugs, like 76. Ugh! Fuck 76! I'm, I, <laughs> I dropped 60 bucks when I was like 12 years old on that game. Grinded the fuck for money, alright? You know what I did? I worked at a concert I was at a, when I was like 12. 12 or 11, I was at a concert. I'm not going to say what, what concert it is. That exposed where I live. <laughs> Worked at a concert, all right? And I took photos, and I got tips, and it made like $120. And I was the happiest little fucking kid ever, because $120 to a little kid is like a million for an adult. That's what it feels like, all right? And I spent half of that pre-ordering the shit show that was Fallout 76. <laughs> and you know what I got for it? A buggy, incomplete game with no human NPCs because the people who decided that either thought it would be too much work and they weren't gonna res they weren't gonna release it on a good enough deadline. All right, that's what they thought. It'd probably be too much work to make human NPCs an actual workable fucking quest line. All right, they fixed the game now. I don't think it's that bad. I might return to it. All right, because I, I apparently it's good now. All right, still 76. Fuck that game. They ruined it. They fucking ruined Fallout for me. They ruined it. I, I was, it was in the middle of my Fallout craze. I pre-ordered Fallout 76. And I was like, oh my god, a multiplayer... A, a multiplayer Fallout game? Dude, I'm in the middle of, of finishing Fallout 4. I have almost all the story DLCs for this game. I love Fallout. I cannot wait for this game. But they ruined it. It's not fucking fun. You wanna know why? Because you talk to fucking robots to do everything. <sighs> Ruin that game for me. You know, if they charge, if they release 76 nowadays and charge, nowadays and charge uh, 70 bucks for it, I'd riot. <laughs> I'd riot. There should be rioting in the streets. We should protest this shit. But everyone's too fucking stupid and still buys these dumbass games. Fuck. Like, all right, back to Madden. EA hasn't added anything worth buying Madden for in five years, it feels like. Did you know the graphic? You know what? We're going to look at the graphics real quick. I'm going to look at some of these graphics. All right. First, I'm going to go to Matt. I have Madden 20. I know what that looks like. I don't have Madden 20, actually. That's the one Pat Patrick Mahomes on it. Okay, Madden 20 graphics. Let me see if I... Um, you know, I'm gonna... Okay, perfect. Look at this. Here's the Madden 20 graphics. Look! 
Look at this shit! Look at this! Even 19! Looks the fucking same! Oh my god. Mad 19 graphics. Oh my fucking god. There's no way. That's Madden 18? No fucking way. No way. This is, uh, this is the first time I've really looked at this stuff. They've, okay, I'll be honest, you know what they've done? I think they have... No way, that's Madden 18. No way. That, okay, they have smoothed out the graphics and made them more detailed in some of the games. Just a little bit. Like, the improvement is so small! Let's look at Madden 17. On PS4, specifically. <laughs> That's so crazy. Alright, this looks... this th They've definitely smoothed out the graphics a little bit. This is Madden 15. No. That, no way. Hold on, okay. <laughs> Look at this shit. You know all the shit we just looked at? Look at these. The shading's different. The graphics don't look that much better at all. This does not look good. This looks the same. The, the game has been the same forever. How have you not made a new graphics engine? Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. This is Madden 23. This is Madden 23 stuff. But still, it looks... The difference is so minute. <gasps> oh my god. Alright, and you want to know how far away Madden 17 was? Alright, you can count. I'm pretty confident you can count, but we'll, I'll do it with you just in case. Madden 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23... 24. SEVEN YEARS! And you're making the same game. Actually, hold on. It, this is really zoomed in for some reason. Uh, Alright, my point has not been put across. Look at this. There is barely any difference. There's barely any difference. The details. There's barely any difference. Okay, look at this, and then compare this. There's better shading. That's the only fucking difference to these graphics. The shading's better. Look at the, the cool shading. Nice shadows you got. Look! And they have the same fucking animation packs. The the animation packs haven't changed for the last ever. All right, they've had the same animation pack since Mad fucking 15. Look at these graphics. Look at this. The shaders are a little better. That's the only difference. The shaders are a little better. That's the only fucking difference. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
and let's count again. All right, let's do it again. You ready? We're going to count again. Okay. 17, 18, all right, fuck. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Seven years, and your graphics look the actual fucking same. And you have the same animation packs. Your storylines are absolute shit. All you are is shilling bullshit in your stories. It's like a political fucking commentary. That's all you do. You don't make good games. You make the same churned bullshit, and all these kids continue to fall for it. And all these Madden YouTubers put up with it because it makes the money on YouTube. Nothing's going to change because these company because everyone keeps buying the fucking games. If you want to make a difference, you got to stop buying them. I haven't bought a Madden game since fucking 21. I bought Madden 22 when I was on sale for like 10 bucks. That was the only time I'd buy it. Haven't bought a game since 21. I only really got into Madden and uh Yeah, I only really got into Madden on Madden 21. All right? I'll be honest, did not grow up on Madden, but ever since I got into it in football, man, I'm pissed. All right? Madden 21, I liked it, I liked it a lot, because I'd never really gotten into a Madden game before, but if I knew, holy shit, I would have been pissed, imagine if Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 looked the same, okay, Fallout 76 look, 6 looked the exact same as Fallout 4, and that was released god no matter years later, but at least that had new content, new map, Okay, they actually delivered on some of their promises. The map was four times bigger. But you know what Madden does? It churns out the same bullshit. And you're like, oh, well, well, we can't, we can't think hard enough. It's too difficult, all right? It's too hard to think of these new concepts. Pick up any fucker from the street. He can make a better story, add better mechanics, add a million different things to make this game better instead of it being a fucking corporate cash grab. Because that's all it is. That's all it is. That's all the, all these games are. Same with 2K. 2K, a little bit different. But you know what? You know what? You know what 2K had the dignity to do? They didn't increase Madden, or 2K24 to $70 because they know they churn out the same stuff every year. It's I'll be honest, 2K makes more progress with their graphics and their features, in my opinion. I don't really play 2K, so maybe I don't know as well, but I think that they add more stuff because I played, I think, 2K21, and then I bought 2K22, um, on sale, of course, I, I'm never gonna buy a sports game for full price ever again, never, 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 never again, alright, so I bought, I bought, um, 20, 21 and 22, and I feel like the graphic upgrade was pretty alright, you know, I thought there was actually, there's an actual upgrade there, not like Madden though! Using the same fucking software for millions of years. Like, it's fucking... Oh, my God. I just... <laughs> it's, it's unreal. It's unreal. It's unreal the bullshit that they churn out and they just get away with it. Because children and YouTubers buy the games and they don't... They put up with it. They put up with it because they get paid so much money. And so does EA. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck because they make so much money. God, stop buying these games. All right, I doubt I have like a sports audience that watches this. But if you buy Madden games, don't fucking pre-order this shit. Don't pre-order this shit because you might think you're not making enough of a difference, right? You might be thinking, oh, well, you know, vegans, they don't eat meat and they make no difference to the CO2 emissions, right? Okay, but the gaming sphere is a lot smaller than a worldwide basis, okay? Now, just don't buy the fucking game. Alright, tell your friends not to buy this bullshit, because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's literally a fucking roster update, that's all it is. They just update the players, they update the rosters, they update the stats, and then they release the game to you, and you're like, oh man, this is the fucking next coming of Christ. No! It's the same churned out bullshit you played last year. Why the fuck are you buying it? If you play these sports games, don't fucking buy this shit. FIFA's done that. FIFA just did that. With, I think it was 23. Shit show! Didn't play it? Saw it, though. Looked like the same game. I don't know. I, I actually really like FIFA 22. I really like it. Alright, that that's a really good sports game, in my opinion. But, I've never really played FIFA games, so maybe it's the same situation that I had with Madden before. So, I don't know if they're turning out the same shit. No graphical upgrade, though. 24 is probably the same case.
All these sports games are just absolute fucking shit shows, man. They don't make these games good enough. And I'm willing to bet once people start playing 24, they're going to be like, wow, the same game, same franchise mode, same face of the franchise mode, same, I forget what the card mode is. Oh, God, I don't remember. I don't remember because I don't give enough of a fuck because it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. It's just, you got to, one of their modes in there is you got to fucking chill out like 10 bucks for card packs so you can get cool players. And you gotta, and if you don't want to do that, you need to grind and do over 50 fucking missions to have an actual dis decent team. And by missions, I mean you play through like a game of football, or do an objective in a game of football, doing like three or four plays per, and then do like this whole thing. It's just, it's the same bullshit. It's just so much, so much of the same content just poured in. The fucking, the people who make the cover art for the cards in that mode put in more work than EA wants the developers to put into these graphics and features. <laughs> God. It's so dumb. So dumb. And I know my mic's been bad. I can hear it. I put it close to my face for a reason. I need to be loud to get my fucking point across, man. It's not how you should do it, but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just, I'm just angry, and I don't care. Okay, I don't, I don't care, man. This is just so stupid. Oh, man. This is... The greed of man has ruined video games, which, in my and my friend's opinion, is one of the greatest pieces... One of not, not only one of the greatest pieces of media, but one of the greatest ways of portraying media to ever be conceived. Truly. It has just revolutionized art in general video games are an art piece they make money i know <laughs> they make money but develop developers need more say in these kinds of things maybe video game companies shouldn't be public because the greed the absolute greed within the ceos and the stock shareholders forces these developers to churn out these games that have no little to no love put into them like madden it's been the same man i'm sure the devs are like we like football and we don't want it to be like that i don't know i can't get in the devs head but i can only assume same thing with like destiny all right destiny is a very good example of a game fucked because of capitalism and i'm not a communist I'm not a communist, alright? Fucked because of the greed of man. The greed for money, alright? That game got fucked. And they made the new DLC, which, fin and dumb, I don't give a fuck, is shit! The new DLC, which is absolute garbage compared to the entire game's story, its gameplay, which I heard the new strand is like, okay, its gameplay, all that bullshit is fucked. And you know what they charged for it? 60 bucks, 60, 6 oh, for that pile of dog shit that just ruined Destiny, that entire thing, you gotta pay over $120, probably more, for all of the DLC, game's free though, game's free though, but it's not fucking worth it, cause it's no fun, unless you pay and chill out hundreds of dollars for all these overpriced DLCs. Because the game isn't finished. Because the progressive thing. It's the only thing that makes money. We gotta stop buying this bullshit. Otherwise they're never gonna listen. <sighs> you know what else money ruined? Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2. Blizzard fucked that game. They fucked it. Overwatch 1 was perfect. There was nothing wrong with it. Fun game. All the mechanics, fun. The UI, fun. The HUD, fun. The HUD can't really be fun, but it was good to look at. Good UI, good HUD, good everything. Loved Overwatch. There was nothing wrong with it. The only issue was balancing issues within the game, which you don't need an entirely new thing to fix, and then completely delete the other version because it's all online. 
and then f fuck up by not fulfilling promises that you were supposed to keep. It was 40 bucks. 40 bucks to get about $10 worth of the premium currency in that game and two or three skins to pre-order Overwatch 2. 40 bucks! And also get access to the beta. But that is not worth 40 fucking dollars when the game would release a month later. Not worth it. Not fucking worth it. And you know, they <laughs> can't buy anything in that game. Can't buy all the cool shit because they lock that behind the fucking store page. They made it like Fortnite. Which Fortnite got fucked by throwing in all these stupid ass characters. Fortnite was a good game until they fucked it. Until they fuck everything. Because all these big corporations, they just fuck video games. One of the most beautiful pieces of art and media to ever come out of humanity, in my opinion. Truly something that can be... That is honestly a better medium of art than movies, than pieces of art, than all of this. Video games. And they fuck them. And they just fuck them. They just fuck them. <sighs> if games... Had as much love put into them as Red Dead Redemption 2 did, then video games would be everyone's considered greatest art medium. <sighs> because Red Dead, Redem Red Dead Redemption 2 had over eight years of effort put into it. They charged 60 bucks for it on release, and it was a fully complete game that didn't need anything added to it. It had a fully done story, fully done online mode, everything was done with it. They released it for 60 bucks. And it was perfect. The story was perfect. The online mode needed some love, obviously. But they eventually did that. Until they stopped outdating the game. Because it didn't make money because they made the online mode too good. And too easy to grind. Because you didn't need to shill out money to make progress like GTA Online. In GTA Online, I'll be fair, you can grind. You can grind and make money, but do you know how much fucking work you need to do? Gotta be over 50 hours to actually, like, get up and level and everywhere. Gotta be over 50 hours. Right down the line? Not as much. Not at all. And you can actually contend with, <laughs> with other players because there's no giant fucking spaceships you can fly around. Instead, you just have fucking traditional fighting. Got horseback. The most you can really do is perk cards, which, to be fair, perk cards can be bullshit, but you gotta grind to actually level those. <sighs> Modern video gaming has been ruined by the greed of man. And we do nothing about it because too many of us are too naive to see things that way. Instead, they just shill out their money for another copy of next year's thing. Like Overwatch 2. They didn't need to make that free-to-play at all. But instead, they just wanted to make money. So then they ruin the entire store system, the loot box system they made. They ruin everything. Instead of releasing new skins for characters... They release them onto the store and charge $22 of a full pack. <sighs> I'm not proud to admit it, but I bought a pack for $22 on Overwatch for a skin. Was it worth $22? No, the fuck it wasn't! <laughs> they ruined everything. I'm part of the problem for buying that. I am. I'm part of the problem for that. But still, they just ruined it. They just ruined it. <laughs> so sick of this bullshit, man. I'll end this at the 30 minute mark. Thank you for watching if you did. Hope you feel the same way I do, because <laughs> the way I feel right now, I think is really the only right way to feel. This shit's fucking unreal. Stop buying these games. Say something somewhere. 
don't let them win with this bullshit. Because they're going to ruin the greatest medium of art ever conceived since movies. This is the new revolution of art, and it has been for a while. And these big corporations like EA and Blizzard and Activision, Blizzard Activision, they're the same thing. And Microsoft even, when they're dipping their feet in the water with Bethesda, buying up them. All these are being ruined. Being ruined for money. Greed. Don't buy into it. Because otherwise they're going to keep doing the same bullshit. And I know I'm a very small man. 250 subscribers right now, which is awesome. And I'm not going to make much of a difference at all. But just don't buy this shit. Don't buy this shit. Buy into indie developers. Buy games like Inscription. Okay? Games like Inscription. Those are some great fucking games. You can find a lot of really, really nice indie games nowadays. Buy those. Buy good games. Like Elden Ring. Contribute to people like that. Because they make good fucking games, alright? <sighs> I'm sick of this shit, man. And this should have... People have been saying this for a very long time. Many years. Just We gotta stop somewhere. So, if you think you're not making a difference... Just try. I'm going to try. I'm going to stop buying into this shit. I, like <laughs> That Overwatch purchase, I'm part of the problem with that. i got to stop doing that. <sighs> Skin was really good, though. Skin was really, really good, good, though. Not worth $22 at all. No. And if it was like Overwatch 1, it wouldn't have been like that. They could have just released the skin... They could have just released the fucking skin, and I could have grinded for coins via loot boxes and gotten it. But no, gotta make a premium currency in a premium shop, because fuck us, right? Can't have the cool shit, gotta lock it all beyond paywalls. <sighs> I'm part of the problem, I know. That That is me saying I'm part of the problem. I'm, I'm acknowledging that fact. <laughs> but still, man. <sighs> the Reaper skin was really good. Thank you for watching if you did. Love ya. Stop buying into these big corporations, man. Nothing's gonna change otherwise. Tell your friends, tell your family not to do that. You got a little brother thinking to buy Madden 24, just tell him. Buy Madden 21, you'll be happy because it's the same fucking video game. Just no roster update. Same fucking video game. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.